Hi, in this video, I am going to give some very important suggestions and points to perform well on CSI exam and to get success in it. Okay, right. Why the CSI exam is so important? Here, so many reasons are there in that if one clears CSI exam, he can be eligible for lectureship and JRF and he can get scholarship through the JRF and he can get a PhD in the standard universities of India. Okay, so that's why it is very important and it is gained, that means CSIR exam is gaining more popularity and craziness nowadays. Okay, nearly 6 to 7 lakhs of aspirants are appearing every year for the CSIR exam and in that through the norms of CSIR and UGC net only 5 to 6 percent aspirants can clear CSIR exam okay so that means here very tough competition is there that's why one need to prepare very well with a particular strategy then only one can clear CSIR exam okay right for a fresher, it is very important to check the syllabus of CSIR exam. That means CSIR is conducting uh, exam for very different subjects or many subjects. Okay, so that's why every uh, candidate for particular subjects subject have a different uh, uh, exam pattern. But these are all essential for all the aspirants. Okay, these are common for all the aspirants. Okay, right. The first point is a fresher need to check the syllabus first. Okay, without knowing the syllabus, one cannot get success. Okay, if we prepare blindly the topics of the uh, chem or chemistry or different subjects, then what happens? If the topic is not in there in the given syllabus, then we cannot get the question on it in the examination okay and if you check the syllabus it is uh, very helpful to you that means every exam or every examination it doesn't go beyond the syllabus okay 90 to 99 percent uh, of the questions appear from the syllabus which is given by it okay so that's why we need to check the syllabus first now the second one is preparation strategy okay we need to follow a particular preparation strategy okay you may go to the institutions or you may uh, prepare from the materials or you may prepare from the video lectures or you may prepare from the online classes or online lectures whatever just have a particular strategy okay don't be just uh, like to get a uh, free videos or free materials or something so the collectiveness may not give you the perfect success okay have a uh, particular strategy of preparation and be concentrate and have a particular method then only you can get the success in CSIR exam okay because it is having the negative marks also okay if you want to clear it you should have the particular strategy preparation strategy okay and then only you clear it next the third point here I'm giving you that you need to try to solve the previous year papers and the model papers first you need to uh, solve the previous year papers whenever you you try to solve the previous year papers you can get an idea about how the questions are appearing in the particular uh, exam okay and uh, then how then you can have the strength that means you can uh, you can have a a look on your strength that means uh, if you try to solve it how many marks you are gaining okay that means and where you are that means where your level is for the particular exam so they all will be known for you whenever you try to solve the previous year's papers after that then try to solve model problems of the particular subject okay and fourth option here as fourth uh, suggestion here is 
make yourself ready for the exam okay after all these three point that means syllabus check preparation strategy after preparation solve the pre previous years solve problems and moral problems okay after complete preparation the very important point is that means at the time of examination okay before one or two days of the examination uh, from the uh, one to two days of the examination it is very important to make yourself ready for the examination okay so many aspirants prepare well for the examination but at the time of examination that means at one or two uh, before one or two uh, days of the examination they get tense okay so that makes you un uh, the unfit of your mental uh, of your mental ability and then that leads to loss of your concentration in the examination hall okay so that means it is very important to have a peaceful mind and body presence at the uh, one or two days before one or two days of the examination and it is very important uh, to have a good peaceful mind and body presence in the examination hall okay right so be care on filling omr sheets and it may be it may be silly to you that so you are the level of phd uh, phd that means you are complete you are master degree student or aspirant is it is it necessary necessary to have this point in the suggestions yes it is very important because uh, the aspir the aspirants are having this problem that means many are disqualifying the exam in exam by doing the minor manual mistakes that means the lack of uh, uh, bubbling the particular or the forgetting of the bubbling or the forgetting to write the perfect hall ticket numbers okay so due to the tensions at the particular at the on the examination hall okay so it is very important to be very peaceful and very uh, mind uh, that means very peaceful and uh, very concentrate okay right next point is don't get afraid for the examination so if you see if you see on uh, the in the examination hall if you see the paper at the starting of the paper if you are not getting any idea about the particular given questions that means the questions are unrelevant to your preparation then don't be afraid okay don't get tense okay so just go further into the problems you may get the relevant questions and you get the answers for them okay if you get an afraid and if you get tense by seeing the different the unknown questions so it may lead to you uh, disturbance of your mind and then that makes you the questions if you know them you cannot able to answer it okay so due to the tension right and next don't be too quick to judge the question okay and it is very important and so many that means if you take 100% in 90% of the aspirants if they no particular answer they just give the answer directly without checking all other three options okay that means their mind makes them or pulls them to give the uh, to mark it very quickly because it it said that means the mind of them uh, pulls them to a uh, quick response to that particular answer okay so that means don't be quick to judge the question because uh, for the options are uh, which are given by the csir in the examinations are similar they just varied by a slight difference okay very small difference may be present in between the four options that's why don't give the answer in a quick response okay just look if you if you think the particular option is a right answer then don't give directly uh, then uh, don't mark it or don't bubble it that particular option as a answer just check all all the three options and then only give the answer okay right next one think twice while answering so this is what uh, we discuss okay it is very important because uh, the all the options must be the same or all the options are same they may be they may vary in a very little manner okay so that's why it is very important to think twice 
uh, while answering next complete complete the exam at least before 15 minutes okay so it is very important and if you complete the exam at least before 15 minutes you have time 15 minutes of time to check all the options which you have given and all the uh, is there any uh, mistakes or uh, unmarked questions are there if you check them and your examination or your exam will be successful okay right and second a uh, last point is keep your category on your mind okay because uh, it is uh, very important that the cutoff marks are varied uh, varied from the category to category okay so nearly 20 to 30 marks are uh, different uh, or uh, are differing from the category to category so that's why keep your category and your mind and how many that means how the cutoff is uh, ranging for your category and keep that you keep that in your mind and don't give extra questions okay so if you know the correct questions just uh, give answer for it and then go uh, and if you if uh, your marks are not at the at your category level percentages in the csr cutoff then try to give the extra questions okay they then you may get some uh, uh, luck and by that you may get uh, or you may get more in the cutoff marks and you may get csir exam okay but if your marks are very less and don't give or if your marks are just crossing the cutoff the normal ranging cutoff then don't give the answers for the unknown questions okay right best wishes from chem masters thank you